What's happening, podcasters? My name is Sebastian Ross, and I help entrepreneurs and marketers just like you launch successful podcasts. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it takes to edit a podcast episode in GarageBand. It may seem like it's so difficult, but it's really not. Let's get down to it. What's happening, everybody? In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a brief overview of what it takes to edit a podcast episode in GarageBand. Now, if you're not a Mac user, you can, you're a PC user, you can use a free editing software called Audacity, just like it sounds. Uh, just download Audacity for PC and you'll be able to download that. It'll be a very similar setup. Again, GarageBand, a little bit better eye candy as far as looking at the editing process, uh, but all in all, both of the tools do exactly the same. So I just opened up GarageBand and it asks the first options that I'm looking to do here. GarageBand allows you to, you could write an album, a music album with GarageBand if you knew exactly what you were doing. So there's several options here. I can record piano, guitar, voice. I can put loops in, keyboard collection, acoustic, songwriting. Obviously we're talking about podcasting here, so I'm gonna choose the podcast option. It's gonna ask me to choose to save it as, I'm gonna put my song, and now I've opened up a brand new project in GarageBand that allows me to edit whatever I'd like. So, I don't have my intro in here because I just started and it's brand new, um, but let's just say I had it on my desktop, I would, I would simply open the finder and I would drag it in there. Since I don't have that, I'm gonna go back to a previous episode here and I'm just going to copy and paste it. That's really the cool thing about GarageBand is that I can go in here, I can take my podcast intro by just clicking on it and clicking uh, Command C or Edit, Copy. And then I go back to File, Open Recent. My song was the file there. I don't have anything in here, so I'm gonna choose the first option, right? These are my different tracks, you can put, you can stack different tracks on top of each other, but I'm putting just my intro in here at the very beginning here. So zero, zero is the time. I'm just going to edit and then paste right here. So now that I've got my intro in there, I can go and go to the end of this. So wherever this ends is the end of the audio track. So let's say I wanna put the actual podcast episode in here now. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna upload one, or drag and drop one rather, to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this, let's say this was the, um, the audio file that I wanna put in here because this is the actual podcast episode. So if you recorded it via Skype, you recorded it on your phone as a voice recorder, you recorded it uh, on Zoom, you'll have an audio file uh, on your desktop that'll enable you to um, drag and drop it into GarageBand just like I'm doing right now. So I'll do just that, I'll drag and drop it right here. You wanna make sure you're choosing the right track right here and then exactly lining it up exactly where you want uh, the file to go. And as you can see right here, if I went in and I listened to this, it would get done and say, Sebastian Rusk is your host. And then boom, would go right in to the episode. Now, maybe I talked a little bit in the beginning of the episode. I didn't start it right away. I was talking with my guest. All I would simply do is just listen to it for a second. I press play down here, listen to where it's at. And let's say I started at 35 seconds. All I would simply do is just drag this right to where the red line is and then drag it right here. So my intro ends right here. The podcast episode starts right here. Now, let's say we get done with the end of the episode. Well, that's where uh, any background outro music and then your actual outro would go where you would say, hey, thanks so much for tuning into this episode. And you can actually record that actual piece. So I could sit here and uh, right down here on the bottom, you see I can hit record and this is me recording my outro. See you next time. So if I don't wanna drag and drop anything in there, I could totally do that. I do this a lot when I want to talk about the episode after my intro. So I've done the intro to my show, which is right here. That gets done and then I wanna introduce it. So let's say I would uh, add a track, new track, and I'm going to, it's gonna be voice and just create. And let's say I want to, um, do an intro. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit and I could just do a quick intro right here. I can choose different effects. This would be a male narrator. And I could simply go, this podcast episode is going to be very cool. I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get right down to it. Here's the episode. 
And then I would bring the episode right back here. And again, you can play around with it. You can put jingles and music behind it. But again, it is a drag and drop game. So let's say you don't have an intro, you're gonna need to make one. So you would just put your arrow here at the top. You would choose which track you're gonna record it and then hit record. If you drag and drop music right here, you can totally do that too, and you can record while hearing the music. It's just a matter of matching up where each of the audio files go. The top one's my intro, this is my introduction before the episode, and this is my actual episode. And then if I scroll to the very end, that's where I would record. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. Please subscribe to our show. We'll talk to you next time. I could put a jingle on there. And you can find music anywhere on the internet. You just wanna make sure it's royalty free. I use a website called Ben Sound, B-E-N-S-O-U-N-D.com. It's free, royalty-free music. You don't want to use some popular music, one of your favorite songs on Spotify, because your podcast could get flagged for copyright issues. But this is a very basic way of being able to record uh, and edit a podcast episode within GarageBand. Once everything's there, I like to save it one last time. And then I'm gonna go up to share. This is very important. This is how you actually export the audio file so you can upload it to your podcast hosting site. I go to the menu bar, I click share, export to disk. I'm gonna compress using its spoken podcast, export, and it's gonna pop up and say, where do you wanna save it? I'm gonna save it on my desktop, and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click save, and GarageBand's gonna do what it's gonna do. It's gonna mix everything. It's gonna make sure everything uh, is correct to be able to export. And then when it's all said and done, which takes less than a couple of minutes, again, contingent upon how long your podcast episode is, then as soon as this is done, I'll be able to pull up Finder and I'll be able to see that I saved it to my desktop and that it's going to be saved right here under my song as soon as it's done. So I hope this at least gives you an introduction to what you need to do when you open up GarageBand to actually edit a podcast episode. I personally taught myself how to use GarageBand. I personally taught myself how to use Audacity. If I didn't understand something, I did exactly what you did. Go to YouTube and find a video to instruct me on doing it. But again, it's trial and error and making sure you have all of your files. And if you don't, you need to create the audio file and if you do you drag and drop it in there and just make sure everything is lined up in an order so the more you play around with it and test it out the editing process the better you will become at it well i hope that about explains exactly what it takes to edit a podcast episode in GarageBand. not that difficult huh? a lot of dragging dropping moving together shortening but not difficult by any means at all hey if this video helped you out and you liked it please do share it with your friends and people you share content with if you haven't done so already give us a like and comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel this way you're going to get all kinds of nifty notifications as new episodes become available we'll see you next time